Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Uh, your, your thoughts were true, that he is messing around. Hey, Cindy, how are you? What the hell are you doing? She is supposed to be my friend. Do you want to make peace or do you not? You don't feel sorry about what you've done? Of course I do. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. It's just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hang me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. up here. Get up. Get up. Go, go with him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real reality television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Greetings. I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to this presentation of Cheaters. I'd like you to meet Cindy Duffy, a woman plagued with doubts concerning her common law husband's fidelity. Filled with questions, Cindy turns to the experts at Cheaters for the answers. Cindy Duffy, age 46. Cindy suspects her common-law husband of being unfaithful while she stays at home to care for his children. We met through a mutual friend. I uh, was having a dinner party, and uh, she had introduced us, and it was just like, I mean, just from then on, we just, it was, yeah, it just really felt right. I could call, he would be in the office, and I could get a hold of him through the day, and now it's like he's never there. It's always a lunch engagement. It's never he's in a meeting or anything else. It's always a lunch engagement, you know? The last six months, I mean, things are, <laughs> it's embarrassing, but really starting to get weird, you know, in the bedroom. I mean, he was always really gentle, really kind, and things are just like really getting weird. <laughs> we were just, like soulmates, I, you know, I just can't believe that he is so different, that he doesn't care before, I mean, it's like we were just one before, and now I don't know where he's at. I don't know how to get through to him. We had talked about marriage. Eventually, that was, you know, he doesn't even talk about that anymore. It's like something that's just forgotten and gone. You know, I'm grabbing my jacket, going out the door, you know, love you, babe, and he's gone, you know, it's not, it's not like it used to be. But I have to know, I just, I have to know. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Dennis Meeks, age 52. Cindy suspects that Dennis isn't being honest about his daily activities and wants cheaters to provide the confirmation. Day one, Meeks proves an easy target for cheaters detectives, choosing to play where he works. At a nursing home not too far from his residence with Cindy and his twin daughters. Cheaters discovers him leaving the building at 11.35 a.m. with his arm around an unknown woman. The suspect and companion are tailed, leaving the nursing home parking lot in a white late model compact car. The first stop, a local fast food restaurant, where Cheaters documents Meeks and companion purchasing lunch through the drive through window. The suspect then proceeds to a local park for lunch and conversation. It wasn't until after their meal that Meek's conduct began to give credence to Cindy's suspicion. Cheaters' cameras caught Meeks and the unknown woman in what appeared to be a flirtatious fling in the front seat of the car. Day two. 
Cheaters has now identified Meek's companion as one of his co-workers. Day three, Cheaters captures irrefutable evidence of Hanky Panky in front of Meek's workplace and in the parking lot of a local church. Shedding light on the lies Meeks told Cindy when she phoned earlier, surprising him with an invitation for lunch. Hello. Hey. Hey. I've got a great idea. Where can we for lunch? Um, I want to buy King Halliburton's plans. After the break, the confrontation. With Dennis's debauchery now exposed, Cheater swiftly acts to halt his ongoing deception of Cindy. Armed with the troubling revelation, Cindy must decide what to do with the man to whom she has devoted much of her adult life. Um, I've just got to be honest and show you what I was able to find. Uh, your, your thoughts were true that he is messing around. Since day one we started surveillance on him, this is what we found almost every day. This is a co-worker. I know. And, and he goes to lunch with her almost every day as he was holding her hand, his arm around her, he's now opening the door for her. This is a park where they, they go and usually get their lunch and go over to this park and hang out. Sorry. I'm really sorry. That's even worse. That that is Marilyn. Oh, do you I, know her? I, I trust it. You've talked to her? Are you friends with her? She's the one that introduced us. Is that right? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This this gets a little worse. And I, I hate to show you this, but this was at a church parking lot after lunch. Oh my God. Uh, they actually were having sex. And if you look at this footage, you can see. Oh, and now here she is putting her underwear back on, her pantyhose. <sighs> the fact is, they're together today. They went and had lunch today. My detectives are on them right now, and they are at that park that I just showed you in that video. And um, I want to know if you would like to go talk to them right now. You can drive right over there right now. Yeah, I want to talk to them, all right. How are you? Hey, hey, How hey. am I? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. What the hell are you doing? She is supposed to be my friend. Your friend? You know, it's nice she can drop by. Oh, <clears throat> nice I can drop by. Yeah. Yeah, my name's Tommy with the television show Cheaters. Well, I guess that's... A that, that, she came to us, believed that she was having a problem in her relationship and needed help. She is having a problem. There's only two times I can't get along with her, when she's in her period and when she's not. Why don't y'all buzz Excuse off? Excuse me. So you have no problem with what you're doing with her girlfriend. Uh, this is obviously the woman that introduced you guys together. She's at home with your two kids. 
and, and you're out here. So of course I have a problem with it. Why have you not been honest to her? Uh, no, I haven't been honest to her. It'd be nice if we could get along. I mean, it'd be nice if, if she were more of a, a wife than just a mother. But she's been a great mother. She's never been a great home. You're never home for me to be a wife. Very rarely would you decide to, and this is what you're out doing, and I need to be a better wife? You don't need to be a better husband? Yeah. I tried to talk to you all weekend. Deal with it. You wanted to deal with the family. You didn't even want to talk to me. So Fine. Do you not care about her feelings at this point? I do care about her feelings. Do you want out of this relationship? Do you want to stay no, in this No, I want it to be solid or not. How can it be solid when you're uh, deceiving her? Well, I guess I'm not deceiving her anymore, am I? How long has this been going on? Oh, 10 or 15 minutes, I guess. <sighs> hey, do you want to make peace or do you not? You don't feel sorry about what you've done? Of course I do, but it's kind of a little hard to be real personal with her, with a uh, group of people. What? Do you understand how she feels, how she's felt? If y'all want to talk and it's really that personal thing, you can take all these people and take them, turn off the cameras and go away, or and I can talk with her. So why don't we go sit over here and just wrap a little bit? You mean the three of us? Why not? Without all this? Yeah. OK. Are you willing to do that? Sure. Because I think it's important. If you, and she has some things she wants to Stop tell you. Wait a minute. Stop talking now and send them away, and I'll talk with you. Otherwise, okay. it's over. All right, come on over here. You want to talk to them up here for They're me? still here. Guys, y'all, if y'all can just go away back and off, turn please. the other way. Back off, please. Coming up, the conclusion. And she has some things she wants to tell Stop you. Stop talking now and send them away, and I'll talk with you. Otherwise, okay. it's over. All right, come on over here. You want to talk to them up here for me? They're still here. Guys, y'all, if y'all can just go away back and off, turn please. the other way. Back off, please. Let's just go talk. Okay. You want to talk to me? What are you doing? Why do you need so much see. privacy now? Let me see under your shirt. I don't have any cameras. Have just... why, why do you need so much privacy now? Look where you're at. Look what you're doing. Okay, what do you want to talk about? We've been doing surveillance on you for about a week and a half. And we have footage of you in this relationship with this other woman. Yeah and which I had to show her today. Now, that was very, very difficult for her to see. I'm sorry, baby. Sorry? And you just don't even act like it bothers you. How can you tell me? No, no. We have a car here. We have a car here. We have a car here. What do you think? I don't know. You showed up here with an army. You have a car here. No, I rode with them. Whatever you decide you want to do. If you want to talk with me, we'll leave take with them. you guys together. No, listen to me. Or you. you go get your car and come back and get me, we'll go together. If you want that, I want that. If you want that, that's what No, I don't think that's what you want, and that's not what I want. You know, it's going to take something really big to get you back in my life. If you want to try to work it out, she's willing to talk to you, but apparently you're not. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's leaving, it looks like. Detective Gomez, Detective Gomez, please introduce yourself to this man. Hello. Your name is, sir? I'm, I'm not giving my name. OK, if, I, I would be ha Detective Gomez is a trusted member of our staff. I, would I don't be happy. I would be happy for him to give you a ride home, sir. There will be no cameras in the car. There will be no microphones in the car. There will be no surveillance in the car. Good. All we need to do is walk over to his car, and he'll be happy to give you a ride home. Here we go. Or back to work or wherever you need to go. OK, let's go. OK, let's go. Yeah, you probably need that. Yeah. <laughs> that. Keep it. Just keep it. Come on, back off. I mean, after two years, and it just means messing. Yeah. I don't even care. No matter where I walk, are y'all going to follow me? Is yes, that the deal? Why? Well, we're just getting you a ride, sir. So you have somebody here to let you know what's going on. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't need a ride bad enough for you buzzers to be following me around. Did that help you to make some decisions? Yeah. <laughs> Do 
I am just gonna get my clothes and go to my mom's house and... So you have a place to go? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Danny, call me every five minutes, sir. Make sure everything's okay. All right. You want me to have, to have a security guard ride with you? No. Following the confrontation, Cindy rebuffs Dennis's attempts to regain her affections. Later in the show, find out if Cindy gives in to Dennis's pleas. But now, Cheaters presents Amy Gottlieb, a young lady caught acting unfaithful towards her boyfriend, John. Amy comes to Cheaters to discuss how her free-spirited attitude led to an emotional breakdown. Amy Gottlieb, age 27. Amy returns to Cheaters to discuss how her relationship suffered after the events of the confrontation. When everybody came up, it was very overwhelming <laughs> and very surprising, but at the same time, I mean, now that it's so much time has passed and stuff, I mean, I definitely was doing that to get attention. Just friends, right? Right, just friends. Amy. Hey, Ron, John, John, hey, John, hey, hey, John, hey, 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 a lot of feelings going on, and I had no idea that any of that was going to happen. Just listen. Why don't you get your hand off? Yo, Bro, guys. Why don't you get your hand off? Yeah. Hey, hey. What? You want whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I do whoa. want some. Why don't you bring some? Oh, my God. What, John? What? Yeah, what? Huh? What? Oh, we're, we're, right here. Here. we're being very immature for a while and letting a lot of things seep into our relationship that weren't supposed to be there. So, I mean, I, I, he's the love of my life. I've, I mean, I totally respect him and, and had thought about, you know, confronting him and, and getting past the point we were at so many times. So I, d I did, when that all happened, I did, I really did want to talk to him. Yeah. Whatever, work, just John. go. Go with him. Go with him. Stay with him. Spend four years with him. Oh All right, let's get you in here. I know for a fact she's going to be calling me like in an hour. He was the best boyfriend I ever had. And um, I just think I let my own personal insecurities overrun that. And um, there's definitely some things that happen, but I just think that I um, was a little immature in doing what I did. I just kind of took the easy route out. Just days after our investigation, Cindy Duffy discovered her common-law husband, Dennis Meeks, was on parole for possession of illegal drugs. She left his twin daughters with his parents and the past behind her. Two weeks later, Meeks was picked up for parole violation and sentenced to jail, where he is currently on both a detox program and hopefully the road to recovery. Meeks told cheaters he looks forward to building a new life and a stable home for his daughters sometime in the future. But Cindy says she has no plans to join them. Her need for a meaningful relationship caused Cindy to move forward with her life. Cindy's former friend, who originally introduced Cindy and Meeks, will not allow her identity to be divulged and will not come. 